On November 24, the 2009 26-year-old John Jones chose to go buckling with his sibling and nine different companions. John had affectionate recollections of buckling with his dad as a kid yet with his clinical examinations at the College of Virginia spouse a girl and a second youngster. On the away, he currently possessed little energy for cave. Investigating thus, the gathering picked nutty clay situated close to Salt Lake City in Utah as it was viewed as a famous fledgling cavern at the time, John's pregnant spouse, Emily stayed at the home to observe Thanksgiving with the family, while John and his party left to investigate Nutty Clay at 8.0 p.m. The gathering showed up at the cavern entrance. It was a thin entry opening, estimating just 1.8. Wide in the wake of just barely getting through the gathering, started to investigate their environmental factors. Nutty Clay Cave was very much planned in the greater part of its traversable regions. The labyrinth comprised of various rooms generally associated by restricted ways from the entry. A rope would direct cavers toward the enormous slide, a huge room slanted descending at a 45 point in spite of being known as Novice's Cavern. Anyway, Nutty Clay had gained notoriety for individuals getting stuck the cavern had as of late returned to the general. Population after cave had wedged themselves in close regions and required saving these regions included. The birth waterway and the aorta creep, known for being very tight and hard to pass. We are simply in the birth trench. It's about that enormous in here heroes detailed hauling individuals out of nutty clay cave a few times each year thus a license expecting no less than two. Experienced cavers for every gathering was required prior to entering the cavern. John had procured this subsequent to investigating the fundamental region of the cavern, John Josh, and two different companions chose to endeavor the test of going through the birth channel J and found what looked like the entry to the birth waterway and started to slither through the tight path head first. As John crawled forward, he turned out to be progressively mindful of the snugness encompassing him. It wasn't well before John acknowledged he had become stayed with not space to pivot or creep back out JN, reviewed that the birth trench opened up to a little region where he could maybe go around and move back out. In light of this John breathed out the air from his lungs and drove forward, getting into a much more tight hole, estimating just 10 by 18 in tantamount to the size of a PC screen anyway, John had made a grave blunder, confusing the way with the birth trench John had messed up and really slithered into Ed's push, a risky passage prompting an unfamiliar area when John breathed in once more and extended his chest he was. Delivered totally stuck, Josh followed the path and saw his sibling's feet distending from the small hole, the nearest I could get essentially, was simply seeing his two feet I'm sort of eaten up by that little fissure you realize I was unable to see. His actually his body at all endeavored to pull John up yet, without much of any result, once Josh let go of his sibling John, fell significantly further and became wedged in a little gap topsy-turvy, one arm stuck over his head and the other arm constrained underneath his chest. Understanding the seriousness of the circumstance, Josh got back to the surface to call for help, leaving John caught topsy-turvy, 100 FD underground hero. Susie Matter previously showed up on the scene at approximate Tealy 12.30 a.m., where John had been stuck for north of three hours. Susie's more modest form permitted her to arrive at John somewhat rapidly, whereupon she saw his two feet standing out of the ground. She smoothly consoled John, that he would be out in a matter of seconds, however realized that this wouldn't be a conventional salvage, the place of John's body joined. With the abnormal stone development implied that basically hauling John out was unimaginable and boring the stones would take too lengthy after additional heroes showed up on the scene they endeavored to utilize a long rope took care of through climbing. Calms bored into the cavern walls to pull Johan out by his feet. Anyway, the grinding of the rope against the calms was too perfect. 
and the framework bombed heroes depended on utilizing a rope pulley framework, penetrated into the walls. Rather, this pulley framework had been used at Nutty Clay before, in 2004, when there were two separate occurrences of boy troopers getting caught in a similar region. John was stuck, the pulley was effectively used to protect one of the scouts anyway being just 140 LB, and 5'7 in tall the Cub Scout, was essentially more modest than John's 200 LB6T, developed setting the police framework, was a time-consuming task in spite of north of 100 heroes and volunteers working resolutely, the restricted space expected them to convey each piece of gear into the cavern, individually there was not. Time to spare for John, who had been tray caught for north of 19 hours gravity, battled against his body, blood dissemination subsequently poisoned started shaping his lungs, started loading up with liquid, and his heart was stressing to siphon the overabundant stream of ceaseless blood out of his cerebrium Joan. Begun encountering mental trips, extreme migraines and trouble breathing, causing him anguishing torment at long last following a US evening of work. The police framework was introduced, and heroes promptly fired pulling John up each pull, caused him a lot of aggravation. So continuous breaks, were taken between Paul's salvage specialist Ryan Shees, who was nearest to John in the cavern step by step, started to see Joan's upper leg chest and face. With each lift, Ryan saw a flood of help begin to wash over Joan's face, as he felt his opportunity trust was. High however, at that point, catastrophe, the key bulb holding the rope close to Joan's legs, unexpectedly gave way reeling every one of the heroes, holding the rope forward and sending John back into the fissure, apparently much farther than before. One of the gadgets as a component of that framework, ooh fizzled o, a new Mr. Jones really wound up falling once more into the area where he had been stuck for such a long time. Brian experienced extreme facial injury and must be supplanted by his dad. One more salvage laborer Ryan's dad endeavored to shout to JN yet, just got shallow. Rascals accordingly, he endeavoured to tie one more rope around John's leg, yet stalled himself out in the process subsequent to figuring out how to squirm free and supplanting the key bolt he exchanged with one more salvage specialist, who again attempted to contact Joan this. Time anyway, there was just quietness. A clinical expert was called not long from now, a while later not long before 12 p.m., on November 2, 5, 2009, Joan Jones was articulated dead of heart failure. 137 depleted heroes left the site following 27 hours. A vain work, after some still up in the air. It to be excessively unsafe to recover Joan's body, and the choice to seal the cavern was made with the family's consent Nutty Clay Cave, was shut for good seven days after the fact, with concrete filled the entry for all time fixing John's body inside a dedication plaque on the entry denotes his burial chamber right up till now thank you for watching buy in for additional recordings and remain safe